Shocking face always on yes. with Firestorm. Oh, yeah, completely. All right, and here we are, Tristop versus Super Shocky uh, with uh, Svavar in the background cheering everybody on. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny. Before Svalvar played his match against Shockey, he comes over and he's just like, I need another beer. <laughs> so Sv Svalvar, uh, in, in, in constant pursuit of the, the Tetris uh, equivalent of the Balmer Peak, <laughs> uh, where you have the maximum performance where you can uh, find that internal yeah. zone. <laughs> uh, Tetris is back to back. Uh, T Tuck set up or possibly a, a flat spin up. T Tuck, there it is. Another and one. Again, really clean on Tristop's side. Uh, Stack's getting kind of high for Tristop here. Yeah. Has to take a burn. Uh, Shocky uh, managing height a little bit more aggressively, but Tristop just. Uh. Two Tetrises for Tristop there. Remains Tetris ready. Uh, and. Uh, no, simul Tetris is pretty much at this point. Uh, not 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 on the exact same spot in the queue, but pretty mm. darn close. Yeah, as Tristop was at the top there for a while, he was able to get ahead in the queue a bit compared to Shockey. Mm -hmm. oh, again at the top of the board, it's it's so amazing how these players are able to handle those situations. I, I feel like the one of the nice things about classic Tetris is I think your average person can understand the mechanics and the precision that goes into these movements. But I still think that, you know, with how common it is for players to have that level of control over the pieces, that it, it's still, I'm still sweating. Even though I know the players can handle it, I get nervous every time. Well, uh, it, it's definitely, and uh, we were talking about this, some of the earlier matches, like Misty and Nichols, like, the, the the matches and where 18 is most of it are a lot more approachable in some mm -hmm. ways uh, but by no means is 18 uh, like even at the, the levels that we're seeing here 18 still very relevant as far as we can in fact go uh, into the the thrill screen yeah <laughs> at this point yeah really need a bar for shocky at this point yes ideally a bar about two pieces ago but uh, looks like drilling down anyways Tristop uh, maintaining incredible efficiency but uh, a number of lines ahead at this point number of lines ahead um, scores about even mm-hmm mm -hmm. so I mean I would assume that with shocky cleaning this up um, Tristop may have an opportunity to pull ahead here. Looks like we'll we'll we'll, we'll see just how far as Shockey is. Uh, Shockey might be playing Dusty at this point. One off. Yeah, looks like that's his plan. Uh, well, one off. One off. Not too bad. There one it off, is. Not too bad. There it is. And Tristop, you know, taking that that advice. Build out your left. Yes. Build out your left. Mm -hmm. Another Dusty Tetris here opens mm -hmm. up that one piece. And coming through. All right. Well successfully transferred. It's time to keep scoring. Yep. And in that time, Tristop has found some efficiency and has started to pull away in terms of score. Still close as Tristop is three lines ahead, but, but no, uh, now they're even and we see there is a, a no, score deficit. True, true, true lead of about you know, three, four Tetrises or so, okay. and maybe even more. Uh, huh, but Tristop is just pouring them on at this point. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we're, we're approaching another uh, nearly 500k at 100 lines, which... Uh, Insane efficiency. The, the pace horn's going off. Yeah. If you're keeping track. Shocky having to deal with another dig here. Setting up a T-spin. Nice burn into this. T oh, missed T-spin from Shockey there. I can hear some awes from from outside. Well, always frustrating, especially from uh, from the modern perspective yes. when you miss those. Ooh, last second adjustment on Shockey's side, keeping it open business. Little bit of traffic on Tristop's side. Yep. Tristop has the pieces that he needs to get out of this, but there is going to be a little efficiency loss. But I think Tristop can take that slight efficiency loss at this point. 526, just uh, 15 lines from the transition. Again, amazing pace. All right, Shockey, mostly clean, just a little dusty. 
Uh, yeah, Tristop a little dusty as well, opens up the well, now is Tetris ready. So close. Chalky trying to get Tetris ready here, that is some super high building on Tristop's side. Tristop is needed to take a couple, Oh, the, 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 the tension is palpable, but the bar has arrived. And the bail comes in not once, not twi uh, twice, three times. One more, <laughs> one more. Three times a Tetris. Tristop definitely keeping us on the edge of our seats here. Shocky with a couple of misdrops right at the top here. Has the correct adjustments to get out of this, but this is not where you want to be if you're Shocky. Yeah, that might, yeah, that's it with that. Oh, with and that's that. going to do it yeah. with uh, 610 to 420,000. Tristop up two. Amazingly played from Shockey there, though. Some some very strong gameplay. Shockey was definitely Absolutely. playing confidently and definitely putting forth his best foot there. You you can see, uh, just I mean that like, you know, r rolling changed the game so much. Oh, for sure. So much, just in terms of uh, the the space of options that any given player could have. And here we go. All right. Uh, uh, Tr Tristop is up two now. Oh, we're on game three already? Yeah, yeah, Tristop was, Tristop went way hard. <laughs> okay. So, match point. Nice early Tetris. Lots of bars coming in. Yeah, this is game two. Okay. I wasn't, right. uh, oh, I wasn't 100% sure. Oh. That, that did, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get you. I was thinking it as well. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it was just such an intense uh, round that that know, just felt kinda... like two games. <laughs> I, I was, I thought it was one. I was just sitting there questioning myself a little bit. Okay, well, my bad. <laughs> no, my you're bad. Fine. We've got it's it all just... corrected. We're good. Cairo's trying to spread misinformation. Uh, <laughs> just trying to mix it up in the crowd. No, no. <laughs> I, 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 not, not a believer in alternative facts here. <laughs> it's one set of facts, Ooh. and we're on it. Oh, oh, the fact right now is Tristop is in a difficult situation. Some very... Okay, this is tough. It Ooh. is. Oh, my goodness. And Shockey does get that round, and we are tied up at one. Wow. Tried to make it game three as fast as possible. <laughs> Really appreciate everyone trying to uh, adopt reality to the things I say. Mm -hmm. If that could only happen just a little more often in a couple <laughs> other places of my life, you know, we'll take it. But you know what? I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> you can see them showing Star the, uh, the setup back here. I wanted to wave to him, but he didn't poke his head back. Incre incrementing Three, the seeds. Two, and here we go again. Ooh, Shocky uh, opening with a couple of missed drops here. Uh, going for art? Going for art, absolutely. Tr tree, tree strats, tree strats. <laughs> Making a statement. E entering the speed run portion of the evening, I see. <laughs> uh, Recovering this with a T spin? Mm hmm, mm hmm. It could happen. It could happen. No! Continues to build a Gundam uh, in the board. <laughs> we, we need like a, a T-spin awe emote <laughs> of some kind, maybe. <laughs> the T-spin miss sound effect. <laughs> you know, uh, Price is Right fans. <laughs> yeah. uh, need to come up with a little, something a little punchier. A little while ago, I used to have the uh, Mario Kart 64 toad scream. <laughs> 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 Definitely a crowd favorite. Time to burst. <laughs> All right. Uh, despite a couple missed motions, seems like we've stabilized into a pretty solid board state for both players. But trust off again, opening strong, making that gap in score. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice tux to stay ready. It's wild when they end up, like, top-level players end up having, like, three or four tucks in a row. Oh, yeah. And it looks like they're almost, like, playing, like, like horizontally. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shockey 
finally getting to the end of this in terms of cleaning up his board. Yeah, we have uh, n another serious bar game, 22 bars uh, over 16 J's uh, uh, ni and 19 L's. Uh, still, heavy bar game early on. I mean, anytime you just see that, like, tall, like, you know, white column one, <laughs> you know something's a little wonky. Tetris for Shocky. Isn't it when you see the bar all the way to the top on the left, you know that you're Tris Top Gaming? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> listen, it's, it, it, it's how it happens sometimes. Good old TTG. There we go. Really high up. And time to start using those bars for something else besides building out your left. <laughs> Yeah, Tristop getting up high here again, definitely making me nervous, but handling it well as usual. Uh, some some tucks onto a central spire for Shocky. Yeah, Shocky with Keeping another small cleanup effort right now. Ooh, nice, nice spin. Nice. Very nice tucks. That's another Tetris for Tristop. Some some very intelligently built boards on yes. Shocky's side. Yes. Shocky finds himself Tetris ready again. Still doesn't have an amazing board state. Unfortunately, he's not Tetris ready when the eyepiece comes. Little bit of a cleanup effort going on on Shocky's board right now. T-spin setup. Ah, uh, chooses to burn it. Smart. Very, very good survival on yes. both sides. Like, you know, holding my breath there for a second. And open for business. Just up not able to take that Tetris when the bar comes. Two of them in a row now. Oof. That, that, that tough, tough pullback, but Shocky being able to burn down with that Tetris. Shocky is we'll smiling <laughs> as he's dealing with this board right now. I mean, you know, more power to people who can <laughs> sm smile through uh, something like this. I don't know if I saw that correctly, but uh, Shocky did get that piece all the way to the edge, and then it kind of, like, bounced back uh, no, it, to the it, column, and then Shocky's face was like, oh. I, I, I think it was an early da uh, early dash load. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to know what that means. So, so um, the... When you're manipulating the delayed auto shift on classic, right. uh, sometimes as soon as a piece will happen, like if it had been one frame lower, he would have been able to load DAS to push the next piece to the oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sooner. So hopefully uh, it looks like it was an early shift so that it land, it moved uh, the current it, it. piece rather than just pressing into the stack got it, got it, and loading got it. DAS for the next one. Got it, got it, got it. Makes sense. Nice you, vits on uh, Tristop's side. Absolutely, yeah. You, you really want to be pressing the direction you want the piece to yeah. be going bef like before it spawns mm -hmm. uh, when you're relying on the delayed auto shift. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, the, the vits, vits plus or Ooh. vits minus, perhaps. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah, oh, that's going to that's gonna take a minute to burn down, but Chaki is actually in a very good rhythm right now. Yes. Uh, Tristop, oh, we're so close to transition already. Tristop gonna transition with 650 plus? Wow. All right, well, we're gonna need some efficient board. 670 transition. Yeah, basically, uh, okay, 700 just after transition. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's, let's make it happen. Let's see our, our first Xeno max out at this event. Keep know, it coming. Earlier I heard uh, the players, I, Shocky looked over to Tristop's board and went, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a Tetris. Probably looking at the uh, the score yeah. just as in awe so, as we are of this transition score. Yeah, 783. Oh, pe people are talking about dumplings. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, there's uh um, That's exciting. There's also pizza coming later. Ooh. Yes. Um But Shocky, you're finding this rhythm in these in these higher levels, but Trust Op's still playing really clean, really strong here. Yeah, uh eight eight hundred and forty four thousand. Oh, finds another uh, Tetris. On level twenty three. <laughs> eight seventy two. Okay. Uh so 20, 25 max on pace four at this point. 
Wow. Uh, if, if not 24. Um, 901,000 to uh, 449k at uh, just a few lines behind. Really strong games. Uh, Tristop up very high. Yes. But uh, that's the thing. Double well maintenance giving you a lot of options to burn while keeping it open. Uh, Ooh, this is... Really flat. <sighs> Uh, this has been at least a 15-piece drought, if not more. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Extremely. N 955,000. Uh, Shocky with a misdrop here. I don't know if that's fixable. Looks like not. Um, uh, 26. There's and the max, max out for Tristan. Yeah, we don't have a bell, but if we did, we'd be ringing it. Uh, this is a pretty incredibly paced game, yes. and uh, so uh, I, I don't mind a little bit of a mullen action at this yeah, point no. because we have, uh, given that we do in fact have single elimination, mm -hmm. uh, up two to one. Let's yeah. let's let's see where this goes. Yeah. Always fun to see extremely strong competition scores. Uh, a six. That's uh, a nine coming up on our one point one. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember. I, I might have seen. Did we have a 1.1 at a previous Xeno? I think we might have, but certainly not a, a supremely common occurrence. What would that look like in the score? Uh, B, B. B. Yep, we're at okay. 1.1. <laughs> I think we have, but I really am not. At, uh, yeah. And Ooh. here we are, taking it to the thrill screen. And why not? Let's let's see a little of what we can do on this thrill screen. Oh. oh, vitamin C, C5. C96. We gonna we gonna see some vitamin D action. <laughs> vitamin D. Uh, 1.3. Wow. This is definitely TTG in full force. <laughs> My goodness. Can we get it? Can we get a bar? Can uh, we get a bar? No. <laughs> well played. Well played. 1.31 million score. Wow. Uh, possibly the live Xeno record. I would Very not possible, be surprised. Yeah. yeah. Uh, excellent, and we excellent still, showing. And we still got a, we still got more games. Yeah. Yeah, the series is not over yet. At the very least, like, you know, just because of like the endurance of how far these games can go, um, mm -hmm. I can see that like giving your opponent a rest can actually end up being beneficial for them. I mean, it it it's, you know, I. It's definitely possible, like, hey, you know, Sh Shaki has a chance to re relax a little bit, and like, sure, yeah. keep going, Tristop. <laughs> get, get your points now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, oh. definitely, that's just you know more of a side effect than I think any. I don't. I don't think anybody's trying to angle, you know, shoot those particular angles in the. <laughs> In this game, I mean, it's just always fun to see an absolutely wild score. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, 1.31, I think, was uh, how that ended up. Mm -hmm. Just want to be like, finally, some good Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A uh, little bit of a slightly odd build situation on Shockey's side, but can make this work on column nine. Open for business. And Tristop uh, refusing to uh, do anything except scare the crap out of us. That's how it works. Yeah. That's how it works. What people come to see. Really, a uh, little bit of a drought at this point near the top of the board, but uh, master class and double well maintenance. Chalky getting Tetris ready again mm. on that column nine, and there we go. And uh, might might shift to the left. Nope, gonna fill out and go dusty. Why not? Uh, 
Absolutely. Uh, oh, nice T tuck on on Tristop side. Two piece solve. Uh, th there are no misdrops. There's just setups. True. Some setups are more elaborate than others. True. Shocky finding a dusty Tetris here. Returning to that right well. And Tristop answers back. Uh, 213 to 93. Uh, mm -hmm. Has managed to open up uh, quite a sizable lead. And Shocky not in the best situation on his board. Tristop with the Vitz immediately followed by the Tetris. If you're in chat, bid for the Vitz. <laughs> Yeah, Shockey's still on a little bit of a cleanup job as Tristop is just Tetris after Tetris over here. Mm -hmm. Impressive that he was able to build up. That, that was an interesting triple at its highest, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, and back open for business. There Tetris for Shockey. Yeah. Followed up by Tetris for Tristop. That is actually pretty difficult to say, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, it, it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, Tristop again with the, the tall column one. Classic <laughs> TTG. <laughs> <laughs> what an excellent, excellent game this has been. Tristop opening the well in time for the Tetris. Shocky with the Tetris as well. Uh, Shockey has been actually uh, reclaiming efficiency. Yes. Uh, the, the, the deficit has not been growing as fast as it uh, certainly uh, might be. Kristoff uh, just taking some really, you know, n not letting his foot off the gas for a second. Shockey up Shockey's, high. Yeah, finds the Tetris. Gets Tetris ready for a second. Both players pretty high up right now. Uh, that, that's we're, we're getting master classes and double well maintenance from both players. Ooh, tough hang in the center. Really need that bail. Oh, and just covered right at the wrong moment. All right, th this is survivable. This is survivable. It's yes. not pleasant, but mm -hmm. it's survivable. I, I agree, yeah. Nice adjustment there from Shockey to get the OPs over. And keeping it going. And uh, two two uh, T tuck setups on Tristop's side or Z spins. The, the, those work too. And Tetris for Tristop. Five forty three to two seventy three. Tetris from both players. Mm hmm. Strong, strong tuck maintenance. Tristop with a little bit of cleanup to do here. Opportunity for Shockey to maintain the clean efficiency. Opens the wall up already, and it's already finding a Tetris. Wow, that was a very, very good cleanup. And we uh, are approaching that 130 mark here. And a re relatively even piece distribution game. Uh, most S's, which you know, no one's, no, no one loves that, but not, not by a tremendous margin. Still, plenty of bars to go around. And Tristop finds another six hundred thousand transition. Truly, uh, absolutely wild the consistency of that remarkable pace. Uh, Super Shocky at four thirteen seven seven twelve. Uh, Tristop is running away with it, but it's still relatively early on into 19 speed, so, uh, I mean, Shockey will need to find a tremendous amount of efficiency, but, uh, both players still have pretty solid potential. Uh, Tristop's lead is what I would call commanding at this point. Yes, yes.
Tristop is actually, while, while he hasn't had as much opportunity to build out the left to the heights that he previously was at 18 speed, has been maintaining a very accommodating board. Mm -hmm. Chalky was in a little bit of an awkward position, but found himself Tetris ready again just in time for that eyepiece. Oh, a uh, little bit of traffic going to need to uh, find the right parity to unlock that center. And that is a nice cleanup that allows uh, Tetris for Tristop stop there. Uh, definitely uh, 889,000 at level 23. Uh, so 24, 25 max incoming again. Seems, seems about right. Really just outstanding efficiency. Shocky at uh, level 23, coming up a 600k. Interesting, Tristop has a hole in the board. Instead of taking a Tetris, uses the long bar to burn down to clean up this board. I mean, what, it, Tristop's trying to go for another deep run, it looks like. Yeah. But Shocky's hanging in there really well right now. It's true. And max out for Tristop, uh, 1.02. Six seventy-two thousand on Shocky's side, really Ooh. not giving an inch. That is going to be a little bit tough to come out. And with those hangs, I yeah. think I think Shocky's not going to be able to get it over. And there we go. Tristop is our winner of finals right here. Our winner of the final Xeno Zero Tetris Classic NES Tristop. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mull this out a little bit. Let's see how far this goes. I feel when a you make your opponent wait B. for the fist bump. <laughs> when you make them wait. I mean, you know, look, it's just stop. You know it's coming. You know it's coming eventually. <laughs> Vitamin B. Let's see if he can shatter his own uh, D1 record. B B79. Going into the thrill screen. And it's uh, it's just raining down. Just <laughs> definitely going into the trenches. C91. Some very aggressive stacking right here. Wow. Uh, D3. Wow. 1.33 million. Why not? Let's <laughs> make it happen. D7. Tucks at uh, 29 speed. I have so many toxic jokes I could make. <laughs> <laughs> e, 22. Uh, 1.42 million. Wow. We get to see our first Xeno rollover. It's not that far out. It rolls over at F, uh, right? Yeah, a after F, the rollover is yeah. one is going to be one six. Okay. And here's our one point five million score. F five, F five, refresh, refresh, refresh. Wow. Putting putting the three eyepieces in the stack before throwing the fourth into the uh, the well there, and that's a that's I believe our first Zeno score rollover. Wow! One point six oh one million points. Still going the the aim on that eyepiece. Wow! The patience from Super Shocky is uh, immaculate. The, the look on his face just, <laughs> is you know, waiting too. for the handshake. Bated breath. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not One able to, miss, six. to chase down. Wow. Oh, seven million. Wow. Is he answering the phone? One point six. Oh, mom, I did it. Oh, seven million. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is a Xeno competition record I must in absolutely. Classic that NES Tetris. Uh, and. That's what you can get if you come to see Xeno Zero's new venue where it ends up being 
absolutely wild, wild times. They've uh, just handed me pizza. I mean, how, how can you how can you turn that down? <laughs> uh, uh, do we know what's actually coming up next in this uh, absolute insanity that we had here? I don't have anything assigned yet, but I don't think TEC has started uh, yet. I think we're just PPT has. Are been we going, going to uh, interview Tristop? Uh, that would, that sounds like a fun idea. <laughs> uh, we can go uh, to a break uh, while we get that all sorted. All right, all then. Right, sure. Let's, let's let's make it happen. Well, we will be right back uh, with the uh, winter interviews with uh, oh, we, Christoph yeah, Endor Shockey. I mean, we can throw the we can get them for interviews right now if, yeah. if they're ready. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask them. Yeah, I guess we'll just throw it a break. If they come back, we'll we'll just come back real quickly. All right, so, then yeah, we, we we will see you soon. And we are back after an absolutely wild record setting for Zeno in competition performance. Uh, 1.607 million mm -hmm. uh, strong, strong performance. Really well done. Trista, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Uh, so, I mean, you know, th those games are just absolutely wild to see in any situation but like in competition uh how, how are you feeling about now um well this is just like a fun little tournament mm -hmm. so um i didn't feel too many stakes so mm -hmm. on 18 i was like i'm gonna try to go a bit more aggro and it paid off i got like almost all 600 transitions um, absolutely so i was just like i guess i'll keep this up and i got two 1.2s in the kill screen basically um yeah i just had a fun time really the uh, the after that first game, I was like, okay, going to game three. And I was like, wait, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that first game felt like two games worth of intensity, and you really uh, poured it on. And yeah, no, that that, that early game aggression, we, we're we talking about that, that the, the column one stack of long bars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, th this is apparently something you are known for generally as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always, well, having a good left is always just a, such a good fountain foundation yeah foundation for your stack um because you don't want to worry about especially as a roller you don't want to have to worry about getting five taps to the left especially when like it's a life or death situation so i'd rather just get those out of the way so i don't have to worry about them later i mean uh, the the proof of the pudding is in the eating and man you ate left no crumbs <laughs> as the uh, as the youth say these days as far as i know i'm using this wrong someone tell me uh anyways uh Absolutely well. well. So congratulations on your prize. Uh, there's a prize pool for this. I oh believe. wait, you didn't you didn't know that? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I uh, thought I just came here to play. Just oh, so for fun. no, the, the the ten dollar. So there's the ten dollar tournament fee and then the ten dollar venue fee. Half of that is prize pool. So uh, oh okay. You, 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 you want a couple? You, you want you know? You, you might you want at least some portion of dinner. Some amount of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got I got my entry fee back. <laughs> there you, and, and a little bit more, I and think. A little bit more. Little but bit more. Uh, very well done. That was absolutely good to see. And, um, you know, you, you and Shockey, there were definitely points where you were, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe at a few moments there. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, you know, uh, you, you pulled a commanding lead in that third game, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was just, you know, impressive to see, like, you know, 
you, you just did not let up. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like, the, the definition of what constitutes playing safely has changed so broadly in the last few years. I know. I years. kept reading the commentary. You guys were saying, like, oh, Tristop's so high. But, like, in my head, that's just like, oh, this is my normal 18th stack. So, I, 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 I mean, you know, we, we, we have to adjust our expectations in some ways when, you know, as we said, heavy hitters in the New York scene. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it... it Play style, uh, especially with the advent of rolling, just changes so much about what's possible, and the standards do get skewed. Uh, but no, it, it's it's you know I, I guess some of it is just like you know our, uh, some of our experience with the scene earlier on. It's still like I mean, look, we have you know in the tournaments where Svavar got started, no one ever stacked that high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but no, it's. It's sign of the times, and uh, really happy to have uh, high-level performers like you coming in and keeping it going strong. Yeah, thank you for inviting me to this tournament. I didn't even know about this until, like, yesterday. Uh, well, Shaki just told me to come over. I was like, I'm nearby. I'll come. And I had a great out. time, yeah. Uh, well, uh, you, you're, you're, of course, in the, the New York City server as well, where uh, Dan and... Uh, for, oh, I need, a, I need to invite back into that. Oh, well, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll hook you up. Don't worry about okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make that happen. And then uh, New York City, we're definitely going to do our best to, uh, as events happen. This is the last event here, uh, by here physically, uh, at the Xeno Zero venue in Chinatown. Uh, House of 3000, however, these these lovely people, I need to work on my pointing skills there. Uh, <laughs> House of 3000 is, in fact, going to be uh, continuing in a new venue uh, to be uh, publicized as it comes out. And uh, Stu York City and the rest of the New York City Tetris community uh, are very happy with the relationship that we've built so far. Look forward to continuing uh, to show off the incredible talent that the Big Apple has. Tristop, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me. Our, our great pleasure. Uh, if Shockey's around, love to have him in. Shockey. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'll see you, man. Good times, good times. Uh, and I'll make sure you get an invite back to New York City. Spoilers. New venue, not too far. <laughs> Shockey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, hello. Uh, strong showing, strong showing in that match. Thank uh, you. Like, I mean, look, it's Tristop. What you, what, what you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I did my best. I think in the... Uh I don't know if game three or game four. I looked over. Uh. I looked at his score, and I saw a 300k deficit. <laughs> like I don't know what to do in that scenario. I mean, like just, 100k deficits are already hard enough to uh, I mean, overcome. You just, you just gotta play your game. But hey, yeah. listen. What, what in in being felled by Tristop, you joined the ranks of Fractal and Blue <laughs> Scooty. So like, listen. Uh, no, no shame. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. No, no, no shame in uh, being part of that particular path of destruction. Uh, you know what? It's an honor to be destroyed by Trist Tristop. There you go. Yeah. And and hey, strong tournament, and you got your revenge against Svavar after last month earlier That is on. true. That is true. Unfortunately, the last few games like, ended a bit early, but I'm glad I, I got the victory that I so desperately wanted. <laughs> I mean, you know, the... the it, if you if you think about it, this, it's a think about that as like the end of the fifteen game streak. Then. Ah, <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, yeah. But wow, um, yeah, no, d definitely a couple early moments. But as we were in the booth, like your your decision making, your solves, your survival, really on point, even in a couple of those tricky situations uh, near the top of the board, like that. There were so many uh, strong moments where, like, you pulled it, you, you pulled it back from the edge. <laughs> yeah, there. Like, I think I, I think I, a thing I learned from tech was, uh, I play, I used to play a lot of ranked, and it was the worst feeling in the world to top out early. Mm -hmm. So I think just from that sheer amount of games I played, I, I try not to top out early, even though I, I had a few games like that. But still, like, mm -hmm. I'm glad I got a few games to 19. I'm glad that. Um, so um, my game, I felt like my game five, like going into nineteen, was very, had it was really strong. I felt like I locked in there. Oh, d yeah, definitely. Like, uh, as you, as you sort of like came out of the the board state before transition, mm -hmm. we saw like definite up level and like um, the comfort that you had playing one off the bottom too was also mm -hmm. crucial in terms of allowing you to maintain efficiency yeah. at points rather than always trying to burn all the way back down. I heard a lot of dusty Tetrises from back here. <laughs> I, I, I mean. I, it, 
<laughs> when you're up against someone who can pour on the Gresham the way Tristop does, trying to keep in rhythm, trying to keep efficiency, uh, if you are comfortable one or two off the bottom, like sometimes it's easier to stay there than try and work out the transfer. Yeah, yeah. It's because sometimes like digging takes way too like burns way too many lines, and you don't <laughs> want to sacrifice that efficiency. So it's a little fun playing a, one off the bottom. But it's otherwise, yeah. You, like if I see an opportunity to take a Tetris and then burn immediately, then I'll, I'll try to take that that chance. Oh, it, it's. I, I also imagine coming from modern that. Uh, where when you're in modern, you have so many more options of where to place uh, yeah. you, your well to the extent that's still a concern. And you're not th it, to, when you're not thinking in four or three, or when you're not looking for uh, t-spin doubles that yeah, way. Yeah, that is true. Uh, uh, I ahead. think yeah, I think th there's a really interesting trade-off between modern and and uh, classic. Whereas classic, you have fewer options, but you have way less time to make those decisions. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's very it's a very fun kind of game. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the, the thing about the, the rolling that you see at this point, uh, the, the number of frame-perfect or near-frame-perfect inputs that's just required to play uh, in, in post-kill screen, it's like, the, it, it, it sounds like you're describing a speed run rather than just exactly. playing a game. <laughs> like, I, I saw Tristop do a tuck on, on level 29 speed. That's a two-frame window, and you don't have that much time to react even if you miss that, like... It's it's the crazy the, the amount of like that basically the amount of balls you need to it's have a, to to go for that kind of thing. It's a two yeah. frame window at sixty frames. At, uh, uh, sixty frames per second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. One thirtieth of a second to make a tuck and one sixtieth of a second to make a spin. I don't think I saw any spins, but yeah, that's tucks are still scary. Like, yeah. No, tucks at that level, absolutely mind blowing. Yeah. I mean, one point. 1.6. <laughs> Is it 1.6? I thought it was like there was like 67k or something. I don't know. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, just a casual. Yeah. Uh, how many lines? Casual 323, 323 line game. 70k. And, uh, 70k. Score. <laughs> early top out. <laughs> yeah, early top out. Unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, th these things happen. Uh, what do we have in the chats? Yeah, new, new venue, new venue, just uh, just down the down down the street apparently is where the new venue is going to be. Yeah, we'll have more oh. information uh, soonish. Oh, that's great news. Yeah. Oh. So yes, so still in Chinatown in New York City, though not at Zeno Zero, which has been a lovely, lovely home. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so we, we're we're still we're still doing Puyo Puyo right now. And yeah, uh, we're okay. going to get into Puyo Puyo uh, right after right after this. All right. Oh, is, do I have a match going up next? Uh, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy, I got I got to switch gears already. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, uh, Puyo, uh, Puyo's, uh, yeah, definitely it. I learned uh, the last round of this when Lyra was telling me about the difference between fast Tetris and slow Tetris, mm. <laughs> and uh, that Puyo Puyo is considered slow because of the yes. delay. Yes. Uh, I, I, I just find it a little wild that anything about that game is considered slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it looks slow, but I think. If you compare it to things in in like Tetri uh, Tetrio, mm -hmm. like that's that's fast Tetrio, that's five PPS. You're never gonna hit five PPS in a in a in a PPT or tech. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, but, it's it's just wild how many how different the sensibilities are uh, between the different games. But uh, stacking fundamentals never go out of style. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yeah. Although you do have different kinds of fundamentals, but That's I will true. I will mention this that classic fundamentals and Tetris the Grandmaster, so TGM fundamentals are pretty darn similar when it comes to making good stack shapes. Mm -hmm. So like keeping the 90 and keeping a even a keeping a, a little higher left is actually pretty good because then you get burn options as well. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I, I I mean, we just saw. I mean, the maintaining a double well mm -hmm. where you can have burn options with the T, uh, the T, and the and the S, uh, both yeah. both both available, um, so crucial, so many times. Yeah, the double can party with any piece. It's true. Yeah. You got you know, party with anyone, as Joe says. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, alrighty then. Uh, I think uh, Lyra is probably well. Lyra is going to be doing TEC commentary for sure. All right. Uh, PPT. I mean, look, I I I I, I don't always know. Uh, exactly what to 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at identifying mm-hmm. the TKI <laughs> setups at the beginning, like, but yeah. it's it's a whole other world. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you don't uh, know, just say, all right, they, they open with a teaspoon double mm-hmm. into a teaspoon triple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I got I to gotta upskill if I'm going to comment on more of those messages. Gotcha, but, gotcha. Uh, but it's been uh, just a great experience here at Zeno just to – you know, meet so many more of the modern players as well yeah, it, that, that come out. It makes me really happy to see like Tetris Worlds like, kind of collide here at mm-hmm. Zeno because we have we have classic players and we have modern players and and it's that's a pretty rare rare sight to see and it makes me really happy. All right. Meanwhile, what's what's the bracket looking like mm-hmm. for uh, for PPT? Uh, let's see if we can uh, get that up here. I I can pull it up. Let's see how far we are into it. I know that there were a few matches uh, that went through. Yeah, so we already are up to top six, which is going to be winner semis of Super Shocky versus Gigawatt Gaming. I'm going to lose. <laughs> Firestorm 69 versus Baseball Boy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Call Me Star is going to be waiting on the loser of Giga and Shocky. And Misty uh, will be waiting on the loser of Firestorm and Baseball Boy. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to go to a short break. I'm going to play a Twitch ad to get some buffer. And uh, stay tuned, everybody. All right. And uh, if not me, somebody will be back before too terrible long. Catch you later. Bye-bye.